a touch of tradition as First Nations leaders look to the future, one without the Harper government. That's the hope of many here. We've got to get rid of these Conservatives. In Montreal, at the Assembly of First Nations Annual General Assembly, a push to get out the vote this fall. In 2011, only 45 percent of eligible voters on reserve cast a ballot, much lower than the 61 percent of the general population. It's time for us to mobilize our thousands of eligible voters who have not been registered. Indigenous people make up the fastest growing segment of the Canadian population, and Idle No More highlighted the mobilization they're capable of. At assemblies or at gatherings that we've hosted, the youth are ready for change, and the youth are going to make that change. Delegates say the Harper government's lukewarm reaction to the Truth and Reconciliation recommendations and its refusal to hold an inquiry into missing and murdered Aboriginal women are just more signs that their voices aren't being heard. Show that our people matter. Show that we can make a difference and show that our issues will not be put to the side. The AFN feels if First Nations voters mobilize, they can have an impact on races in 51 out of 338 ridings this fall. Still, voting in a federal election remains a tough sell for some who see chiefs and their councils as their only real governments. If we join Canada in their election system, that's a part of genocide, that's a part of doing away with us. No one from the Conservative government showed up, but in a statement, a spokesperson for the Aboriginal Affairs Minister said, we are taking steps aimed at improving First Nations well-being by enabling them to take full advantage of Canada's economic prosperity. I believe it is time for a new era. The NDP's Tom Mulcair promised a cabinet-level committee to ensure government decisions respect Indigenous rights, while Liberal Justin Trudeau pledged more money for First Nations education. I believe that the quality of life gap between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal peoples can be closed. Likely the first of many pitches they'll hear in the lead-up to the election, a sign their votes will carry more weight than ever before. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Montreal.